I stopped. It was very hard for me to stop and say, Vincent J. Caravella, you are professional that has to talk about things on a podcast. Just just play Mass Effect Andromeda. Oh, I mean, someone's yeah. got to do it. You had to force yourself to stop playing Zelda. And play a game that I know I'm not super psyched to play right now. Yeah. Uh, and I did... <clears throat> and, and now it's now it's impossible to come to an opinion about that game because it's been tainted before. It's so tainted. The, the taint is so strong. <laughs> There's with, a lot of taint in that. Game. Please it's tell like me about your most, strong taint. It's the t- it, it is powerful. <laughs> is, it, your, is your friend? If the lips are flapping. <laughs> the, the, Wait a minute. Uh, no, that makes sense. The okay. So first of all, I love the Mass Effect universe. You don't have to preface this. We I, we all believe feedback you. sandwich. We all believe the you. The Mass Effect universe has done. You've done a lot of great things over the years. We really respect a lot of what you've done. You've had some missteps here and there. Sure. Um, don't do the sandwich. You're not supposed to. Uh, but yeah, here we go. The butt is the bread. Uh, go taint, on. That's what they say. Taint on top. Yeah. <laughs> so the uh, this taint about you. It's about the performance. God the, damn it. That's not even. Good. Damn it. It's not even good. No, it's I not. Knew, I thought it was pretty good. Okay. Well, I'm just <laughs> keeping quiet and letting you finish. Go. Um, the performance on my PS4 wasn't great. Do you have a pro? No. Uh, well, should I? I yeah, mean, don't, sure, don't just like mournfully shake yeah. your head at no, that. I like, should, I'm, no, I wasn't. I'm lots sorry. of people no, no, don't no, own no, a sorry. pro. That, that, don't I don't own that. a pro. Oh, uh, okay. Alex, can you pick his monocle up off the fucking no, ground? No, no, my no. word. Hey, hey, him now. That head shake was just like, oh, you don't have one? Like, it wasn't like, a, oh, you don't have one? It's, it wasn't that. You <laughs> totally misread that. Yeah, no. I mean, you don't want to buy a $500. Given your long history of elitism and haughtiness, I feel like you're really underselling just how that came across. Why don't you just hang your 4K TV on all the money? That's right. <laughs> why do you, why do you need it strong enough? <laughs> well, the guy had to bring the gold out of the closet. Right. Yeah. <laughs> the I'm lapels so... on his coat just started like flipping upward in fucking <laughs> pure <laughs> custom Disgust. service. These screws are gold plated, not twenty four carat like I requested. I ordered the platinum screws. Uh, the, that I... sounds like a software issue. Let me transfer <laughs> you. <laughs> nice. Uh, so the performance wasn't super great. Uh, the I made a new character because the characters, I don't think they look great. Am I covering no. new ground here? I'm not. You're sort of just, you know, carbon copy. But look, yeah. we haven't really ha- sat down with you after you've had a chance to play it. And we know okay. your your fondness for the series. And I feel like your opinion uh, as a super fan carries a How certain amount of weight. Everything I say is going to have a, a compliment in it. Ready? Okay. I dare you. I think the character the character generation makes characters that look just as good as the, pre, the pre-rendered characters cool. or the, the stock characters. But that's really bad? Cool. You're already bebopping some language here. This right. is interesting. They, All right. They, the one I made, I thought they give you the tools to make a character that looks just as good as the one that came stock. How All is right. the one that comes stock? How is it? Yeah. Just as good as the, the one you can make on your own. Man. What, if you had to say one to ten. I think I'm making really good time because of the frames I'm saving having to watch <laughs> okay. in, in the display of this game. So, like, why would I need all of them? I'm getting them the gist of what's I mean, going on here. The game's playing quicker. It's, it's, <laughs> everything's moving a lot faster. You don't have to worry about Uncanny Valley when the animation is so weird. Yeah. You, your brain knows that it's a video game. It knows. Game. And, like, now I get to have a headcanon that these people are all clones that, that somebody dunked alcohol into <laughs> on this ship. They were all in cryostasis, and some drunk asshole who was the only only one awake was just pouring a fucking PBR into everybody's capsule and then when they all woke up they're a bunch of fucking idiots hey I forgot how to move right and like, it's like <laughs> so far into the future and there's one guy there who's like yep <laughs> like future's doomed so that's Is that the beard guy I played like the first like 20 minutes there's a beard guy I think it's your dad the no, dad. Is, the, so is there a beard dad? I don't know if he had a beard. So here's he what I'm beard, curious about. Yes. I made a custom character, and uh, you have a twin, right? Yeah. Yeah. And uh, the writers. Yeah, the writers. Uh, and I don't know, and I haven't watched enough of the coverage of this game to okay. know if they generate the dad off of the oh of the, of the character creators that you make because the dad has my same eye color or a similar eye color. I'm colorblind. I should mention that. So it could be wildly different. But it seems like they ha- he has light eyes. That's a good question. And I'm like not aware complex- of anything like that. Okay, so you think it's it's stock? My dad was like a James Coburn type with a beard. Yeah. I don't think my dad had a beard. Was he like a gray beard? Kind of, yeah. Wait, right. is he just the guy from Space Mutiny? I don't know. 
I don't know. I don't that, know. The big Santa Claus dude that runs the ship on Space Mutiny. I, I mean, this is very this is a mystery theory. science theater thing, by the okay. way. So I, yeah. I, I can solve this by looking it up. <laughs> yeah. on, like Space Dad, but like I'm not gonna. So anyway, I thought it would be more interesting if they I were. I thought he'd be older. The dad? Yeah. My dad was kind of older in the game. My, guy, my he, Space my Dad guy was pretty like old. Forty eight. I was like mid fifties. Yeah, is yeah. that what you'd call? Okay. Yeah. I mean, I, yeah, feel like we're all, I feel like we're all looking at the same He got character. married really young. <laughs> yeah, maybe. I thought mine was 52. Uh, well, so, in the future, you don't age as fast. All right, so the, knows that. The, some of that stuff is taking me out of the game. The lip flapping and yeah. the, an, the... My biggest problem, though, is not a problem. It's, a, it's great that everybody just constantly is moving around. They will not stand still for a goddamn second. Oh, my God. Everybody has to shift on a foot or, like, run around in a circle around you. Or every time I turn my head, like, a, a uh, character I'm with just is sprinting back and forth. He's trying to, like, don't it's look like, at me or like something. It's like you're hurting puppies the whole time. It's like really... You're like, no, you sit right tense. here. Stop moving. Uh, and, like, that makes me very tense because, like, you know, we're sitting there in these long dialogue things and people are just like just stand still for a second and the way they look they're always like looking in the middle <laughs> distance it's like they can't focus on something it's in like they're the working far. with a cg character <laughs> in a film yeah, yeah kind yeah. of like don't worry they'll put the ping pong yeah, the, just, just, just look, stare at the tennis just balls look at my hand up here you'll it'll work and then out. when they mapped it in it was like 12, 12 feet off yeah. to the right so they're always like staring off into this middle space which is like like when people defocus, like when people like tell you like, oh, how do you look people in the eye? Like, oh, just kind of like look at their forehead or their nose or something. And like sometimes you can tell when people are not like kind of looking at you or yeah. like looking off. And like, are you even listening to what I'm saying? No, I no, it doesn't matter. <laughs> so like that's a little distracting. Uh, the Mass Effect of it, though, I am drawn to. I'm still drawn to this Mass Effect story, though. All right. Uh, Jeff, you've played some of the beginning, right? Yeah. And Alex, have you played any yet? None. Dan, have you played the beginning? Tiny bit, and then I stopped. So they don't reference anything. No. It's like a different universe. And and I feel like I've heard it that. It is a different universe. I've heard it literally. <laughs> well, it's a different galaxy. So they're like, the year is 2432. Space is awesome. Let's go to Andromeda. Okay. They're kind, Yeah, they kind of just say like, oh, you know, we got to move the human race away. They don't. They they say something to that effect I, in the opening movie. It's not massive. They, that, what does that text say at the beginning that fades into like Andromeda? Yeah, they, it, it I says thought, something. I thought it was basically like I got like people a, wanted to go to a different place because people are curious. Yeah, I got, but I did get like an interstellar kind of vibe though from it, where they're like, yeah. "Oh, we, you know, Earth's we're Earth's old news." So like, I don't know. I have to like look at my watch to see when the other games take place in this timeline because I'm not. They don't reference it at all. I don't know. You know, there's nothing that says, like, uh, 800 years before the events yeah. of whatever or whatever. So uh, that's, as somebody who really likes the Mass Effect universe, I was a little bummed out. I'm not getting any call back there. Uh, and, you know, you, you go, and then it just kind of popped into a bit of cliche. Right away. Just cliche action stuff where it's, like, aliens and guns. That's it. Kill those motherfuckers. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, because Mass Effect definitely didn't have parts where you shot aliens with a gun before. No. So the Mass Effect universe, I thought, did a good, had a nice bit of Star Trek in it of mm -hmm. like, okay, here's a... Humanitarian? Here, oh, no, I know that's not like the primary focus of those games. It's not. And like, you know, to be fair to Mass Effect... Yes. Be uh, fair. You know, they had a pretty intricate relationship with all of the backstory of the races and like who mm -hmm. was first and like the first war and shots. And when you come into Mass Effect and Mass Effect 1... It's kind of an interesting tale of like you're the first human specter on this team of like you know aliens and all this, right? N not just like drop in <laughs> guns blazing because that yeah exactly. But we're There's also build up. we're also on the fourth game now, and I, <laughs> even though this one does not take place in the you know the exact timeline of the trilogy, at this point they're just like yeah fuck it whatever you know what's going on here just go shoot this shit yeah so I don't know I'm very early on in it. Mm -hmm. uh, How I, many I, hours would you say? Uh, not more than like two or three. Okay. But, like, you know, I like the movement uh, in terms of, like, the jetpack and stuff. The it, I like the sound it makes, and I like how f you can traverse. Uh, it's you got know. that nice pew. Yeah, you can go up or forward. Like, there are two different uh, jetpack things. Choo, choo, and that moves you around real quickly. Yeah. The, the gunplay seems fine. Mm. You know, it seems snappy. I haven't gotten into the a lot of the biotic powers or, you know, um, I have a cool power. I'm playing the reckless dive-in headfirst uh, lady. She's, like... That's my backstory, mm -hmm. and uh, 
she's got a power. She just warps onto a person, punches them in the face. So that's cool. I also have that power. Yeah, that's I know. I've they, not, they, they stole that from me. They did steal it from you. Have you boinked an alien yet? Uh, with bullets. No, I mean, I, I assume that's how that works. No, it's a different galaxy. <laughs> All right. So when uh, an alien yeah. and uh, a another, sexy human yeah. love each other very much, uh, they shoot life bullets into each other mm-hmm. and yeah, horrible life. things happen. <laughs> so I, you know, there's questions I have about how far could they have they have gone? And again, I'm way, way, way early on. So we'll yeah. talk more about this later. But just off the bat, like you put it in a whole new galaxy. There's yeah. so many things you could have done. You could have let me pick a different species or race to, to play as, right? Give me a Salarian. Give me a, give me a future hybrid of like, you know, oh, the, you know, this race should never have been, you know, involved and something happened. And, you know, instead I'm like, you know, super agent rider, go forth and shoot the bad aliens. I don't know. So far, it's, that's not great. He's awake me. for like 40 minutes before... No less than that. I mean, I'll give him the benefit of the doubt, like some time passed. <laughs> when they brew in the coffee. Yeah. <laughs> but like, man, he's ready to go. Yeah, ready. Uh, there's scanning, which makes me just walk around just with the scanner open the whole time. Uh, like, I don't want to miss I'm something. Scanning. I'm scanning everything. So, I don't know. I'm going to play a lot more of it. Those are my first impressions. The I will say that the frame rate stuff that I'm experiencing and some of the chop and little technical doodads and stuff are taking me out of some of that narrative. And, and I am a person who likes narratives and games. And yeah. likes to get invested And in I will even say that that is, you know, the jank. There's a lot of jank in that game. Oh, the jank. Jank is coming in hot. Comes in hot. And maybe some of it will be patched out. Unjanked? We, it could be. I don't know. Maybe. So, I'm not here to... A lot of people have written about some of this stuff because it is kind of extraordinary for uh, it's a surprising a game of this amount pedigree. of jank. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, of but like, it's okay. Of like, oh, there's you know, it's not animation; it's scripting. Or I'm sorry, it's like you know, um, you know, it's a, a lip sync problem because they're not hand yeah, animated. So it's not the animators. There's, it's, you there's know, procedural it, stuff. I think, and, you know, on many different levels. It's 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 affected on many different levels. Yeah, I, it's not, it's, I, I don't want to I don't want to cast blame on it. Right, right. For, for me, that's not even the biggest issue. For me, it's like the the uh, importance that I felt from the uh, I, I played two and three. I didn't finish one. Okay. Um, but there's some sort of like very uh, um, important like you know narrative that takes place in the second and third one. That you feel that that you're like, oh, I am witnessing a great story being told. Yeah. I I personally thought. Yeah, so. I think so too. And I'm not a huge fan of those games, but I I enjoy the story. That's t- I feel like all that kind of just doesn't the the weight of that just doesn't well, it's, show it's, its face. Uh, and that in, was in so far for me in in Andromeda. And and you know it should be they should take a fresh start approach to a lot of this stuff. Definitely of like, hey, you don't have to have played these other games. Don't worry about it. Maybe a couple of winks and nods, and maybe that's in there later on. But, uh, you know, again, somebody who is coming to this wanting a great story again, uh, some of that technical stuff just is, is ha- it's taking away from it. And it's, you know... It, in 2017, things have changed a bit. So. And it's, it's not just a matter of the jank, at least from what I've seen people talking about. Like, yeah, the animation stuff is there, and the, the character stuff is there, but, like, you know, I've seen bits of writing that seem just kind of fucking ham-fisted yeah. and i've seen i've heard from some people that like you know there are certain quests that are just buggy enough to mm. where you can't finish them so like shit like that is you know it's like yes there are going to be glitches in games that size but i i i don't think that's something you can just kind of write off as like oh you know that's just part of triple a development it's like no this is like kind of sloppy you yeah, know like this yeah. is just kind of sloppy it, fe- it feels a bit sloppy and i i'm saddened by that. And, yeah it's a- hearing that the technical stuff is bad on top of like i never really cared about mass effect story I, I beat all the other ones and never really did much for me uh so that on top of the technical issues i just i'm not really seeing any reason to keep playing so i i do like again some of the traversal stuff and the combat has seemed pretty good so far uh but I that's not why I come to that game. Yeah, I'm done. You're done. Oh yeah, I'm not. I'm gonna keep going. Uh, but I've got Zelda and Horizon like still that's hot. What I'm Those are good hot. games. That's what I'm saying. Sitting there, and it's it's taken a lot for me to just be like, well, may I'll spend the limited hours I have to play 
Mass Effect. But also, I have heard some things about pushing through their walls in that game. But I hear people saying things like, oh, I'm 30 hours in, and I finally got to a thing I kind of liked. Okay. And that, that's that, that doesn't good. sound great. No. <laughs> All right. 